Welcome to Project Amethyst. This is a client-side launcher for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which will allow players to make client-side mods that are a level above add-ons. It is created by Freddy, and it already includes the ability to zoom in, just like Optifine. It also has an item durability checker and a shulker box contents viewer. This is a very new project, and many more mods are coming. Let me show you how this works and also how to install it. How is everybody doing? My name is Echo and welcome to a Minecraft Bedrock Edition mods launcher. I absolutely love Optifine Zoom. Now I have showed you client side mods like this before, such as the FOV changer, which is practically Optifine. Instead of just having one of these, we now have multiple and it can all be done in the exact same location. So like I said, we do have the Shulker Box Contents Viewer. And a lot of people love this. This is definitely popular on Minecraft Java. Now we also have the Durability Viewer. Again, some of these are available via add-ons. But this is going to take things to, the, to a whole new level. It's going to be really easy to use them rather than having to download and install individual packs now remember this is client side so only you yes only you who downloads this can see it now before i show you guys the whole download process let's just go and check this out on some servers me personally i like to play a lot of cubecraft i love to play lucky block sky block now strangely enough while i am checking this out on servers the zoom in is definitely a lot slower compared to when you're inside of a game. Now, let's just go and see how much of advantage this might give you. So, again, one thing I would like to say here is that this is all done with a separate launcher. It is as simple as me clicking on these and the mods becoming active. For me personally, the FOV client that I've showed you seems to have a much better zoom on servers. And obviously, I'm going to be doing comparisons like this. In terms of the likes of solo play, though, it is absolutely perfect. But of course, does the item viewer durability... Aha, it does actually give you this in-game. Now, I'd also like to see where it pops up on the side, showing you what weapons you've got and things like that. I think that could be incredibly useful for players. But if we get over here, obviously weapons are quite important in this. I can see that I should probably stay away from some of these players, right? Because they're going to get quite strong. So this obviously has, well, better durability for me. And I think you guys get the gist of how things like this work. For those of you interested in this project and wanting to have access to all the features and more in the future that I have, you do need to be using the unofficial Minecraft Bedrock Edition launcher. I've done separate videos on how to install this. Now, for those of you that don't already have this, and are just using Minecraft from the Windows Store, please, please, please download your favorite worlds before you even attempt this. And that is the only warning I can give you. Make sure you've downloaded your worlds and put them in a separate file slash folder. I'm not going to be responsible if you lose any of your favorite worlds or packs. Now, if you do want to download it, I will leave a link to the Minecraft Bedrock Edition unofficial launcher. It is completely free for those of you that do already own Minecraft Bedrock on Windows. This is just a version switcher. You can go to older versions, and of course, you can go to newer, and of course, you will have access to preview. Like, I've been using this for a very, very long time. You can go through all of the previous versions of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, all the way to when this used to be the Windows version. After using the Bedrock Launcher, make sure you've booted the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and then you can close it down. The next location you need to go to is this, which is going to be Project Amethyst. And you're going to need the download. So tap on this. After that, you are going to scroll down until you see amethyst.launcher.setup, which is currently 2.0.0. You're going to go ahead and download this. Now, this might actually say it is suspicious. I've installed it and I've had no problems at all using this. It's very similar to the previous ways I've showed you on how to install things. Wait for it to be done. 
and I'm going to show you guys in real time. And then the best advice I can give you is then drag it to your desktop. If you do have an antivirus, feel free to go ahead and scan this. Once it's on your desktop, you want to go ahead and open this. Now, this does pop up. And again, it does feel sketchy. Hopefully, the creator of this can resolve the issues where Windows thinks that it's going to be damaging. So click on more info and then click on run anyway. Now, this might take a hot second. Again, I'm only going to do this for me. Feel free to do it for both of those versions and then install it. I'm just going to click next. I'm going to show you guys the location where I'm going to download this and I'm just going to install this. Wait for this to be done and you'll have a separate launcher. And we're just going to click finish and we're just going to run the launcher. Now, as you guys can see, we don't currently have any of the mods. You do have to separately install these. The exact same you would do for Minecraft Java Edition. Once you have this installed, go back to the main page of Project Amethyst and scroll down and separately install the mods. You might just want the better inventory, which is inside of shulker boxes and durability viewer. You might just want the Optifine ability, but if you do just want Optifine, I do recommend the zoom viewer, which I showed you earlier on. So go ahead and open these in separate locations. The downloads will be here. So you've got releases. Again, just showing you how this works. If we just scroll to the bottom. Now with this one, you are going to need this, which is Amethyst Runtime and Better Inventory. So we're just going to download this and also download this. Now, again, there is a lot of pop-ups showing that they are somewhat suspicious activity. Once again, I've had no problems with these and I have scanned them with my antivirus. If you if you feel scared and don't want to do it, that's completely fine for you. The same can also be done for the Optifine Zoom. This one only requires one download, and it's this one right here. So download this. On the Amethyst Launcher, you want to click on Open Mods Folder, and then it's going to pop up, and it's going to tell you mods. Now, currently inside of here, we don't have anything at all. So what we are going to do is grab the three mods that we have and place them inside of here. But we need to extract them. So my best advice would be to make three separate folders and just name them the same as the zip folders. Then go ahead and place all of the zip folders in the respective folder that you created. We now need to extract the files inside of this. We're just going to extract it here. At this point, we no longer need this zip folder. So delete them and continue to do this with every single one of these. Once you've done the final one, make sure there are in fact two files for each one and then you're good to close down the mods folder. At this point, make sure you have restarted the Amethyst launcher. If you've done this successfully, you will see these two folders here. You can tap on these to make them active. Before you do that though, runtime mods, make sure you have this one installed. Otherwise, this is not going to work correctly. Tap on this and then go to launch game. Now, when you launch the game successfully, it is going to pop up with a Windows command box. Again, completely fine. That is typically how this stuff works. And I will show you in real time how this works. And everything I showed you at the start is now currently active. That being the ability to see in your shulker boxes and the ability to see your durability. Now, like I said, it is very, very early stages. However, I think this is so much cleaner to use. And once you've done this, you've done the hard part. As more mod developers create more mods, you're just going to have to install them via the mods folder. That's the hardest part done. Going forwards, I really hope more mod creators out there invest some time in this launcher. If you are having any issues, the original Project Amethyst page does have a Discord. I'm pretty sure they'll help you out there. And remember, please, please, please back up your worlds and download them before you even attempt to do this. If you try and do this with the regular Minecraft Bedrock Edition version, your game will just close down. Because I tried it with that. It does not work. You need the unofficial version. Anyway, if you are using the Optifine Zoom, if you do go to settings 
and you do head into keyboard and mouse, just go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. You can assign this to a different key if you wanted to. Anyway, have a wonderful day, and I look forward to checking out more client-side mods.